everybody, it's Charlie. Uh, so because of COVID-19, um, all schools have been closed down in Belgium for three weeks and then after that we have two weeks of holidays. So we're basically on lockdown for five weeks. And it's very, very important to uh, practice social distance distancing. So uh, even if we are healthy, that we don't spread the virus on unknowingly to more vulnerable people. Um, and I think it's very easy to fall into a pattern of uh, watching Netflix all day or like um, geek the day away on your phone uh, and I want to try to use these weeks to um, do things that I like doing and become more me um, and actually like be productive so that's why I decided to make this uh, series uh, like fun things to do while social distancing um, and I can like it will motivate me to be productive and actually do fun things because I have um, I have to document it and I can share it and maybe I can give you some inspiration on things you can do apart from like being online or doing nothing. So today the first thing that I'm going to do is clean my room because it's absolutely disastrous right now. Um, in the past weeks I had a lot of stuff to do because of school so I totally uh, didn't clean my room at all um, when I was done with something I just threw it on the floor and like my room right now is disgusting so the first thing that I want to do is clean my room and after that today uh, my sister proposed that we could bake a cake and I'm going to take you along um, so you can watch me do those things and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy this and have fun with the video! Little PSA, um, I know I'm really awkward in introductions because I never do talking videos but you know maybe uh, I can make like a series out of this and I can get more comfortable so um, yeah let's go! clean most of uh, the sleeping part of my room uh, I clean up all my clothing and uh, all the <laughs> all the trash next to my bed um, right now I'm going to vacuum because it's still kind of filthy but it's really satisfying that like all the crap is off the floor um, I also have like another part of my room where I usually like um, do stuff for school I can craft I can like I store all my school stuff there um, and that's still filthy <laughs> uh, but after like vacuuming this part I'm first going to like take a break and make that cake with my sister because she's been bugging me about it she's hungry apparently um, <laughs> and uh, after that I'm going to clean that part as well so I hope you're enjoying the video so far My room is like pretty clean right now um, I'm not completely done yet I still need to take out the trash like take down the trash uh, clean up that thing there <laughs> um, make my bed and then as I said clean this disgusting mess but we're not gonna look at that uh, right now I'm already really happy with like this um, but right now we're going to take a little break and Big cake and it rhymed and I feel like a poet. Hi! <laughs> Come on! Say what we're doing. We're going to skip up. Okay. Hey! Hi! Hi! Ha <laughs> ha! 
like not here anymore, <laughs> but we're just going to try our best. Yeah, yeah. so enjoy and us dating to get the and trying to take you along with it, with us. I'm going to with write you. like in the in the on the screen everything that we use, and we're going to say it as well. So the first step is preheat the oven, but we're not going to do that yet because whatever. Step two. And Grease a standard nine inch square baking pan and set aside. Go get the baking pan, Melissa. You go get the baking okay. pan, uh, pan, please. <laughs> Step three, whisk it in a large bowl. We can do that. Yeah, we're not making a cake, we're making brownies. <laughs> the baking this pan. Is the pan. We're yeah. not gonna grease it because grease is gross. <laughs> <laughs> And we're like, squares. Squares. there's three of us. <laughs> or like half extra. If you want, okay. <laughs> so if you three want cups. the okay, so we're come and help. We're going to make like the recipe plus half of the recipe because we're hungry. This is the okay. cacao. Also, one. kids, wash this your hands. Warm. Yeah, wash your hands. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe we should wash our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Then we're going to do some math already because mm. the cocoa powder, the recipe says three quarters uh, cu of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. How much is half of three quarters? Uh, <laughs> one and a half that quarters. Is two. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> so it's like so just a little bit more than one cup. You measure that shit with your heart, okay? Baking powder, right? Baking powder, we need to do one teaspoon, so we're going to do one and a half. Can I tell me which teaspoon? It's almost done, Jack. It's going to be the next. So it was actually one teaspoon, so we're not going to do one and a half because that seems like a lot. Hi! 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 Hello, guys. There he is. We're not going to use actual sugar. We're going to use like date syrup. One cup of water, please, my dear. So first one cup. Because the date syrup is like pretty, pretty sweet. We're first going to add like almost yeah, two cups. And then we can see if, in the end, we can taste if we need more. I'll do it, I'll do it. So. But it looks delicious. Yeah. So we are going to like finish all the ingredients and then at the end just add some more uh, um, flour. The next ingredient is soy soy yogurt <laughs> yogurt. So we're just gonna add like a little bit of soy soy yogurt. Sure. Wait 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 no 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 that might be too much. No no. Follow your heart. A little bit of <laughs> vanilla extract, but we don't have any extract, so we're just gonna use some vanilla powder, which is a little bit stronger. So you're going to need a little bit less. But still like a little bit more. No, still a little bit more. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay, do now the oven open. Uh, oh yeah, so... <laughs> 350 Fahrenheit. It's like 180, I think. Yeah. Here's our other kitty. Hi, baby. Cutie. Okay, I think it's good. Just like a little more flour. Okay, so we don't have any chocolate chips left, so we're just going to take like super bitter chocolate and like break it. Yeah. We're gonna do 20 first. There we 
go. <laughs> Thanks. So uh, first we ended up putting it in the oven for 15 minutes to be sure um, and then my sister checked and it wasn't ready yet. So how many minutes did you put it again? Five. Like, and then we put it for like five more and now apparently it's done. So we're going to cut it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a corner piece person or a center piece person. That's what you got ready? Bruh. So we're just going to enjoy this, this chocolate mousse. How do you like it? that uh, I'm going to take away the trash put that in the laundry um, also if you're wondering why there's like a mango there it's because it's not ripe yet and I really want to eat it and if I don't like store it in my room someone in my big ass family will eat it um, so now let's get to the time lapse of cleaning this two three pieces of bread it's a great portion or like more or less if you have like a small tummy so the next ingredient that you're uh, that, uh, that you are going to need is for your bread pizza for your bread pizza is follow me to the fridge my dear tomato sauce so the next step that you're going to do is you're going to pour some tomato sauce Wait, on I, your bread. I'm actually yeah like don't be so next step is you're going to spread the tomato sauce over your bread so, oh, there was actually kind of sticks. Next step, after you got the tomato sauce all spread out on your slices of bread, yes. you're going to need some spices. And you can like use whichever spices you want, but the ones that I always use are how do you say it? Uh, Cumin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or, like beauty bloggers do. Cumin. Q. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic. <laughs> garlic what you're gonna do is you're going to spread it out put some on your bread because garlic slaps the next spice that you're gonna put on your bread is herbe de provence or um like her province provincial herb if you have like an italian or pro or like it's mix, very good on you can just put it we on. also put it on pizza so we just kind of put on the bread what we put on pizza yeah to give like the pizza-ish flavor just like that. And we're going to put the whatever vegetables you want on your pizza. Uh, but like a bell pepper is my go-to. Hmm? You're going to wash your bell pepper. People are our friends. Next thing that you're going to do is you can take whatever vegetables you like. For example, uh, mushrooms or I like bell pepper. You can put tomato. Anything you like. And you wash it and then you cut it. And you put it on your little pizza bread. People in the vlog, go follow Melissa and Sarah on TikTok and like all their TikToks. You better do it. Yeah. The rest of your bell pepper, you can eat it. 
is you're going to take some vegan cheese. Easy vegan peasy. Vegan deli, original and intense cheese. Please sponsor me. Send me free packages of vegan cheese because I will eat it all day long. We already eat it all day long. So, you literally just put it on your bread. bread. So you can choose whether you like the original or the intense one. We mostly like a mix. I usually do both, indeed. Like so. I feel like Anthony from Career Eye, he always says, like so. Oh my god, I wanna watch that again. Like, it's his birthday actually today, no, I think, or yesterday. Now we're going to add like the intense one. ASMR intermezzo. Yum. Which you can also add, but you don't have to. Like, you don't have to do anything, but. Um, this is like optional. Is um, how do you say it again? This nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. Great job, sweetheart. I know. It has like a cheesy taste, and we literally have like a shit ton of vegan cheese, but you can like add it on top because yum. Give it six of those up. Put it in the oven. It in the oven okay. For about ten minutes. Everything. So you have kind of little pizzas. It's red day. Is it bread day? It's bread day. <laughs> Tons. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like that. Cute. Uh, we're going to do a taste test. Okay, so what you can also do, this is optional, is you can use like some vegan mayonnaise um, to like enjoy it with because it's really good but you don't have to that's how it looks it's good so what do you think <laughs> give us like a review it's actually so good can i have a little bit of mayonnaise how much do you give it out of 10? You ate everything, Charlie. Give me something. Oh. <laughs> Only like eight and a half, nine of, out of 10. That's not bad. I'll see you later. The last thing that I'm going to do today is fill in my bullet journal. Uh, I haven't done that in a few days because uh, I've had like a lot, a lot of stressful things going on. Um, but uh, right now I'm like kind of feeling like I have my shit together. So right now I'm going to like fill in my bullet journal. Then I'm going to edit this video because I want to try to get it up today. Um, I'm actually like very, very motivated for this um, and I feel like I want to make it happen that I like post more videos at least in this period of time I hope that um, you really enjoyed watching this video that maybe it gave you some inspiration to do some things yourself um, and thank you very very much for watching if you want to you can like this video or subscribe or share it with someone leave a comment down below if you have any um, ideas of what other videos I could make and apart from that thank you very much for like your time and I wish you a wonderful wonderful day bye